Hey there, welcome to today's video. In this one, we're going to talk about the history of the United States of America. I know, I know, history can be boring, but trust me, this one's going to be fun. Alright, let's take it from the top. A long time ago, before Netflix and Tesla, there were some cool folks called Native Americans who were chilling in what we now call the USA. They had their own sweet setup, hunting, fishing, and living their best lives when suddenly, like that, Europeans arrived on their doorstep. In 1492, Christopher Columbus sailed the blue ocean and discovered America, or so we were told. Sure, there were already people living here, but they weren't wearing fancy hats or carrying tea sets. But let's give Columbus a break. At least he was trying to put America on the map. Ah, the old days when Europeans decided they wanted to play a game of finders keepers with a whole continent. After Christopher Columbus showed up in 1492, more and more Europeans arrived, like they were trying to get front row seats at a Beyonce concert. Boy. The Spanish, French, Dutch, and English all wanted a piece of the pie, or rather, a piece of the pumpkin pie, since it was autumn by the time they got there. And as it turned out, the English were the lucky ones. They managed to set up the first permanent settlement in Jamestown, Virginia in 1607. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine? Setting up a permanent settlement in a new land with nothing but a compass, some clothes, and maybe a parrot or two? Sounds like an extreme camping trip to me. But let's fast forward a bit to 1776, when the colonies decided they had enough of playing the British version of Simon Says. They drafted the Declaration of Independence, which was like a breakup letter to England. But instead of crying over a pint of ice cream, they celebrated by lighting up some fireworks. On July 4th, 1776, they made it official. We're breaking up with you, England. It's not us, it's you. And just like that, the United States of America was born. Who knew that a group of colonies could turn into a superpower with a bunch of bald eagles, apple pies, and the ability to say y'all without judgment? Now, I know what you're thinking. Wow, America has a pretty messed up past, doesn't it? And you'd be right. We can't talk about American history without mentioning its dark side. Like the fact that slavery was a thing. Yeah, we're not exactly proud of that. But we did finally manage to kick that nasty habit in 1865 with the 13th Amendment. Phew, good riddance. But let's not dwell on the negatives, because there are plenty of positives to talk about too. Let's face it, the world could use a little positivity right now. During the Gilded Age, America was booming. We were like a teenager going through a growth spurt. Suddenly, we were taller, stronger, and more powerful than ever before. And we were creating some of the greatest inventions of all time. The telephone? That was America. The light bulb? America again. And the automobile? You guessed it, America. We were like the Steve Jobs of the 19th century, minus the turtleneck and the glasses. People were moving from the countryside to the cities in droves, which was great for all the pigeons who suddenly had a lot more people to poop on. 
And then, of course, there were the World Wars. America joined the World War I in 1917 and played a major role in helping the Allies win. <laughs> Let's get back to our story. Then in 1941, the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor and America entered World War II. The U.S. played an important role in defeating the Axis powers, which was a pretty big deal. We emerged as a superpower on the global stage, which was great news for anyone who loves Hollywood movies and Coca Cola. After the war, America experienced another period of growth and prosperity known as the Baby Boom Era. This was when the birth rate skyrocketed, and people were moving to the suburbs and buying all sorts of new consumer goods. It was like the whole country was having one big party. But instead of balloons, there were babies everywhere. And now, here we are in the present day. Ah, America, the land of the free, the home of the brave, and the birthplace of some of the world's greatest inventions. We may have had our ups and downs, but we're still standing strong and full of potential. It's like the old saying goes when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. And boy, have we made some sweet, sweet lemonade. Plus, we're the birthplace of some of the most iconic foods, like burgers and hot dogs, which is really all that matters in the end, right? Thank you for joining me on this journey through U.S. history. Subscribe to the channel. See you next time. Bye bye.